Hello family and thank you for coming to another video that we're sharing out with the family on Deb Snell's 48 Swirl Family Affair. Yes, we're sharing it all, 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 all. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by, sharing your Saturday afternoon with me. But we're going to go into a little video here that's telling us all about the rules and the regulations of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and, <coughs> excuse me, Dallas new york beverly hills just the 40 rules bravo's real housewives cast members have to follow okay that's the title of charlotte chilton's um article she wrote up for women's health don't know why it's in women's health but okay maybe women's health has an entertainment section that they want to get out there and they're having charlotte chilton as their correspondent or journalist who's writing up this article on the real housewives cast for bravo's franchise okay but let's get right on into it because they are very strict about glam over there at bravo all right we're going through the 40 rules, okay, and regulations. That's my sidebar that they have for the cast members who wants to be on the franchise of the housewives, okay. Ah, it says, since 2006, Bravo and executive producer Andy Cohen have brought us nonstop drama with the Real Housewives franchise. While it may seem like these ladies have zero rules, you know, given all the ponytail pulling and... Who they getting that ponytail pulling? That Portia and uh Kenya, they talking about woo wee. Okay, that's my sidebar. Given all the wine glass throwing, it turns out that there are quite a few, and I'm here to break them all down. So grab yourself a glass of peanut and settle in, okay? Well, that's what we're going to do, but we're going to settle in without the alcohol drinking, okay? Now, the first one is, all of the cast members have to audition. Yes, these women have to send in audio tapes, go through home interviews, have extensive on-camera tests, and more before coming housewives. And of course, they have to earn Andy Cohen's stamp of approval. Okay, the next one would be friends are preferred when casting new housewives. In a 2015 interview with Attitude and explain why. The show, excuse me, the show works so well because it's all people who have long histories with each other. So it's not just throwing people together in a big brother house and seeing what happens. Think Dorit Kimsley and Lisa Vanderpump or Dorinda Medley and Ramona Singer. Next. But friends still have to audition. Okay. Nope. They don't get an automatic bid to the show. It's still important for the network to see if the potential new members are watchable. Bravo executives Randy Flam told the Daily Dish podcast. They start the casting process with the current cast members. We always start with the women. Sort of the core group that we think is coming back. It's always like, who do you know that we should know? Okay. Next, everything in their life has to be fair game. Per the Real Housewives contract, the crew is allowed to assess anything and everything while filming. From the woman's closets or the women's closet to their kids. Now, Nene broke a golden rule right there, y'all. This is my sidebar. When she didn't let that man go in there to see what Portia and Kenya, I mean, Portia and Candy was talking about in Nene's closet. And then he tried to get too familiar with her closet. And we see how Nene snatched that shirt through him against that wall and broke some teeth, all allegedly. <laughs> but that's just what they're saying. While they're filming, nothing's off guard. From the women's closets to their kids. I always ask people what's off the table. If they say this, 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 and that. I say you shouldn't be on reality TV. Casting director Melissa Stanford told the New York Post. Okay. Even their phone conversations. Have you ever noticed? Hold on. This is my brother. Uh-huh. Hello, on my phone, I see. That guy dressed up like a lady, Jawana man. Uh -huh. he, went to, he went to the grocery store and stole $200 worth of groceries. And he tell the TV, he left the wallet at home. He forgot and left the wallet at home. Who said that? Jawana man who played, dressed up like a lady, played basketball, the actor. Really? Where you saw that at? It was on my 
Oh, Kayla and stuff. Oh, Kayla like, back home? I thought you they weren't coming back to Sunday. She got to go back. She got to come back and get some more clothes. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I'm taping. I'll call you back. Uh, Bye-bye. No. Brother trying to stop, trying to show me tea on what to put on my uh, YouTube station. <laughs> he said something about, it, about the Joanna man. Y'all remember that movie back in the day? I don't know if it comes across your media feeds, he stole some groceries out his, um, I guess wherever he stay in whatever state, food department. Okay, but we'll check it out and get back with y'all on that. That's news breaking for my brother. Okay, but anyway, going back to the uh, 40 rules, Bravo's Real Housewives uh, have to follow. It says even their phone conversations. Have you ever noticed that the housewives exclusively talk on speakerphone on the show? It's because while they're filming, the producers want to hear both sides of a conversation. You know, since they later share those phone conversations with the whole world. Okay. Except for when they had that time when uh, Candy was telling, uh, what it was, was telling Cynthia she was mic'd up. Be quiet. Why she mic'd up? But Cynthia wasn't catching a clue. Just my sidebar, not in this article. The women have to keep a blog. When the show airs, the drama can get real. From things said behind their back to situations that unfolded a lot differently than one thought. That's why the housewives are supposed to keep a blog with their reactions to each episode as part of their job. So that's why Candy has her little blog, her speak on it, situation of how she views the shows. Mm, okay, now I see where that comes from. All right. The women get some input on their taglines. We actually started discussing what the potential tagline could be for each of the various wives pretty much at the beginning of the season. And we kick around ideas all season long because they want their taglines to be unique and special and they want their taglines to be unique and special and ones that really stand out from the pack. Producer Doug Ross told E! News, the women get some say record three to six and producers see which one sticks okay all righty then they change their hairstyle mid-season or they can't change their hairstyle mid-season i think candy had said something about that but anyways is during each season premiere you'll see at least one housewife wife has changed up their look that's because the network won't let them once filming starts why a new look would ruin the con continuity of their interview looks i don't mean, i don't think that's fair because you can always throw a wig or put some weave in your hair and make it do what it do if the producers don't like what's really forming on your natural hair okay hmm seems like some censorship or discrimination going on right there but that's just my pun intended not in this article the next one the women only get three interview looks okay and they have to be able to recreate those looks regularly you wear the same outfit all year long you get three looks total but for three months you have to wear the exact same outfit same hair same makeup you can never cut your hair in the middle of it because you're supposed to look the same vic uh, vic well, vicky Go govinson told glamour hmm okay Housewives have to be able, no, housewives have to be available for reshoots. Okay, yes, reshoots, because if reality doesn't once, because if reality doesn't work once, try, try again. Cast members have been caught in public filming the same scene multiple times, and the crew sometimes even sets up lighting for the set where they're filming. They have to coordinate for promo shoots. From all white to metallics to different shades of neon, the cast members always look cohesive for their cast photo. Reunion looks a little more lax. Some are more planned than others. The Real Housewives of Dallas really nailed the black and red scheme here, but usually the theme is a little less obvious and the women wear what they're most comfortable in, as long as it's a cocktail attire. They pay for their own glam team. 
When Erica Jane joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she blew the lid off of the Glam Squad secret that some housewives haven't been airing. Erica was open about her wardrobe, hair, and makeup team. She flew out for all of the major cast trips. But at whose cost? Not Bravo's. The stars pay for glam themselves. Well, hell, as much money they get, they should be able to. My side boy. The housewives work long hours while filming. Oh, boo hoo, boo woo. Okay, that's all they're doing, making all that kind of money. You should work long hours if need be. Okay, that's my side bar. But what they say about it, it takes hard work to make TV go like the Real Housewives franchise. And not just from the producers' end, the women are lodging six days work weeks for 14 weeks during their season and that's on top of any other job that they might have their kids have lighter schedules there are strict rules about filming children as legal as legally they can only be filmed for a limited time each day so production has to come up with a strict schedule to make sure they get the footage they need in the constrained time Production sends out call sheets every day. Besides securing locations to film, more on that later. The producers team gives each cast member a written call sheet. According to Bravo producer Dale Rupel, this outlines the next day's shoot, schedule, times, locations, weather conditions, etc. And arrange phone calls. Some of the show's drama is too real to be cooked up. But some is how we how do we say this? Pushed along by production. Former Real Housewives of New York cast member Alex McCoy explained that some of the scenes and phone calls were orchestrated by the producers. And we know Eva always trying to get in them scenes via phone call because she ain't never there because she's always damn pregnant throughout the season, okay? That was my sidebar not in this article. It says housewives can't break the fourth wall. That means no mentions of production or the crew whatsoever. This can sometimes lead to confusing drama. Real Housewives of New York star Kara Rosewill told BuzzFeed that she was told information by a producer that led to her calling Avita Dressler a liar. But since explaining her source to viewers, uh, would break the fourth wall. She couldn't divulge much information. Okay. Cash trips are paid for. Sort of. Andy has revealed that the network pays for part of the cost of the exotic trips the housewives take on the show. But that ultimately it's a combination between the network and the wives. Okay. Housewives can pay to upgrade accommodations. If a trip the woman wants to the women wants to go on is outside of Bravo's budget, the women can f- front the bill. Perks like flying privately or traveling to a destination in peak seasons are all some of the things the women arrange themselves. Look at the credits. If you see promotional consideration provided by an airline, a hotel, a cruise ship, a this, a that, that means it was provided by the producers, Alex McCord told Reality Fix. Attendance on cash trips is expected but not required. It's a big deal to miss a cash trip and the women are expected to show up. However, sometimes there are conflicts or women will create excuses if they're fighting with someone and don't want to go. That said, a lack of attendance can seriously jeopardize your standing in the show's cast. Well, not so much with Kim Zosiak, because you remember she never went on not now one of those cash trips of Atlanta. She always posed it was health issues. <laughs> but she always go on family vacations out the state of Georgia. Okay, whether she's flying, she uh taking a uh, a bus or a train, okay. It just is what it is. That's my sidebar. Okay, the next one is the cast gets a say in where they go. There have been some that have been generated by us and there have been some that have been generated by them. The women take the planning of the vacation really seriously. Andy told, okay, wouldn't you? 
Okay, alcohol is always available and always free. No wonder, because they want them tipsy so they can start saying some things that they ordinarily wouldn't share if they were sober. Now, that's just my sidebar. But they said alcohol is always available and always free. On vacations, former Real Housewives of New York, star Heather Thompson noted that it's all free-flowing. You request the kind of alcohol you want, and it's there. When you arrive to your villa, and if you run out, they get you more. Okay, the more they boo you boozed up, the more you start spreading secrets. Okay, that's what they want. That's what they want, y'all. Okay, borrow profits from the housewives businesses. Mm, didn't know that. It says the women are known to hawk their various ventures. Ventures, but it's not exactly free publicity. Per the contract, Bravo receives a percentage of the revenue earned from any business promoted on the show, with one exception. Bethany Frankel. In the first season of Housewives, I made $7,250 for the entire season, but was the only person to put in my contract that anything I ever do, I own. And that ended up being a pretty good thing when it came to skinny girl, Bethany Toes, NBC. All right. Bethany Frankel broke that glass seal, and that's my sidebar. But I'm sure after that one, they said no to the rest of the housewives. Anything else that the housewives uh, do as far as businesses, Bravo gets a cut. Hey, that's some shit. Okay, moving on. The housewives are paid per season. Let me get that again. The housewives are paid per season. Now, where did Nene get up saying she's paid per episode? I'm not sure of whether this had all fell through. I think maybe Dr. Heavenly said the same thing. But anyway, from what they're telling us, the women are paid a lump sum for the season. With some, like fan favorites, Bethany making upwards of $1.5 million after her return to the Real Housewives of New York season, New York and the City in season 7. Salaries range by person. Nope, not all the housewives are paid the same. New cast members start out with a smaller salary and are given a pay increase after each season. While the OGs or fan favorites like Bethany or Nene Leakes can bank more than $1 million a season. Friends of the housewives are paid per episode. Okay, friends are paid per episode, not the cast members. So I don't know what Nene was talking about. Okay, but anyway, going to it, it says if you're a friend of the housewives, aka you appear on a few episodes every season, like Faye Resnick on Beverly Hills, you're paid per episode, which might explain why Faye always instigates fights and returns on a later episode to address the drama. Just saying. The housewives can't sue one another. That's a biggie. <laughs> so, Nene, why you didn't blow, throw them bowls, honey? Can you? Why you ain't throw them bowls? Candy, why you didn't throw them bowls at Phaedra and Portia when you had a chance? I'm just saying, since you can't sue. But the uh, housewives can't sue one another. With all the crazy accusations and altercations, it makes sense that Bravo puts in their contract that the housewives have to settle their disputes on the couches at the reunion rather than in the courtroom. Okay. All righty then. The show needs permission before filming in public places. Don't be fooled. These women aren't just rolling into the restaurants and asking for a table for three with the camera crew in tow. It's the production team's job to secure permission to film at all other locations being filmed. I kind of figured that one. Everyone around them has to sign a release. I kind of figured that too. Whether they're an audience members or fellow diners at a restaurant, every civilian you see on camera has been approached and asked to sign a release. According to a producer, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, people are gener generally happy to do so. <coughs> Andy Cohen decides who returns each season. Now, ain't that some shit? That's why they always be. I ain't talking about Andy, especially Dr. Heavenly. She don't want to mess with Dr. Uh, 
doctor. She don't want to mess with Andy Cohen because she knows she likes being on that ratchet show because it brings her more money opportunities and a platform to promote her many, many adventures, her business adventures. Okay, but I, like they say, Bravo gets a cut of it. Mm, okay. Andy Cohen decides who returns each season. Andy, the king of Bravo, ultimately decides who stays and who goes. It's all about what's best for the group. What's best for the ensemble? How is going to be different? Do we want to continue this conversation? Do we want to pivot into a new conversation? He told a crowd at the Tribeca TV Festival. Well, I wish you get over Nene and Kenya because they're going to always be dreadfully enemies. So everybody need to stop trying to make them make up. Just let it do what it do. Okay, just let it do what it do. That's my sidebar. The next one is it helps you bring the drama. One way to ensure you'll be asked back, instigate drama. If somebody just doesn't deliver, they just begin naturally to fade because the edit, they honestly is a merit, cro- uh, wait a minute, a merit crossity. Well, no, a merit or tro- a crossy. Wait a minute, merit or trossy. Okay, Meryl Trossi. Producer Sean Dash told Business Insider, The best characters win out and the best stories win out. People who don't deliver just end up on the cutting room floor. Okay. Mm, Interesting. Interesting. Because I'm still trying to figure out why is Cynthia still there. Why? Because we don't need two bone collectors. Because Candy has definitely shown us she's a bone collector. (sighs) But they got rid of Shamia, which I would have saw Shamia on the show where she can devote some of new edition stuff because Ronnie DeVoe is still a part of uh, new edition. And he I mean, it could have been a lot of uh, things being twisted into there to why we keep keeping Cynthia. Okay, but of course, now she wants to get married to a man who really just seemed like he just made to hire uh, brought there just to fill up some space to make Cynthia has a better storyline. But it just is what it is. We don't have her for so long. I don't know why. Okay, but moving on. It says you can get demoted. All right. Just look at Danielle St- Stab, Camille Grammer, or Vicky Govison. These OG housewives were given a dreaded demotion to friend or the housewives, which means less airtime, money, and storylines. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Former cast members can't go on another show. Well, Bobby, damn. They censored them from going up. They were a non-competing clause for how long? For how long now? Okay, it says former cast members can't go on another show. I'm guessing they're meaning another reality show. When OG Housewives Tamir Judd. And Vicki Govison announced they were leaving the Real Housewives of Orange County after 14 seasons. It was revealed that both stars were slapped with a one-year non-compete. Yep. Non, one year non-compete clause which prevents them from appearing on another reality show until the set date. I knew it had to be some. Okay. Housewives can return if they're asked back. There has been a number of times throughout Real Housewives history that a former housewife has made a combat looking at you, Bethany. Bethany. But who has the authority to bring someone back again? That's all up to Andy. Well, damn Andy, why you ain't brought Phaedra Paws back? Come on, Andy. Why haven't you brought Phaedra Parks back? Because I'm telling you, Phaedra Parks would give us a storyline better than Candy Burris. Candy has been on there long enough. But we know none of the women are going anywhere. I don't care who your favorite is or, or what you may say. They got other business ventures that they can bounce to and this, that, and the third. Ain't now one of them women going to leave. And Candy even said that in her speak on. I don't forgot which one, but she definitely said she ain't going nowhere nowhere meaning nowhere till they put her out the door okay but anyway going back that's my sidebar filming the reunion is a long day the cast members sometimes film for up to 12 hours at the beginning of the day each cast member is picked up by a Uh, A car and brought to an unknown location where they get their hair and makeup done and prepare for questionings to answer questions to answer. 
The cast can't speak to each other beforehand. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kylie Richards told Fox News that producers act fast when the women arrive on set for the reunion. We all go to our rooms. They like to keep us separated because they don't want any conversations to happen off camera because they want everything to happen on camera. They can bring evidence, okay? The housewives do their homework to prepare for the reunions and often bring hard evidence to support their claims, whether it's text messages, emails, or even medical records. Now, that's him below the belt by the medical records, but okay. Maybe it's medical records on themselves and not others, but who knows, honey. But I know Candy and Kenyon, and mostly Kenya than Candy, is going to try to come out with them text messages on what... Portia may have said about Nene behind her back when they were not speaking to one another. And I could see Kenya doing some shit like that just to stay relevant and just to bring herself back for another season. Okay, that's just her MO getting to it. Okay, but I'm pretty sure if Kenya and Candy are going to do it right, make sure their response is back to whatever Portia had text them. Or say it to them verbally on the phone. They need to have their side too shown. Because I know if Portia was being shaded with them. All of them was in cahoots to take Nene down. Don't just put Portia out there. Hell all of y'all. You, Cynthia, Kenya, Candy, as well as Portia. Okay, just get it. If you're going to bring it, bring it all. Bring it all is what I'm saying. Not in this article. That was my sidebar. It says where cast. Well, each cast member sits in a big deal. Where each cast member sits is a big deal. The reunion seating arrangements are as carefully choreographed women choreographed as the New York City ballet. Just as Real Housewives of New York star Danielle Snob Stubb, who refused to sit, who refused to leave her dressing room unless she was. Sit, Unless she was sat next to Andy on season 10's reunion. In reality, it's the women with the biggest storylines that go next to Andy. And the rest are arranged based on who is fighting. Oh, child. They do too much. They do too much. But reunions always end with a toast. Whether it's champagne, tequila shots, or wheatgrass shooters. The women always kiss and make up. Or at least pretend to at the end of the day. Okay, and that was it, guys. The do's and don'ts. They keep adding on. They keep adding on. I guess they have to with how these women cut up on this show and what they try to bring as a powerful storyline that will solidify them in that season as more to come. But that was given to us by womenshealthmag.com. Hush, Elijah. All the comings and goings of 40 Rules Barbo's Real Housewife cast members have to follow if they contend to want to be on this show. Okay, of the different franchise they are hosted in. So, okay, that's all I had. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Okay, and y'all know a little bit more about how the Real Housewives get down and how they have to follow rules that they don't necessarily tell in their confessionals. So that was a piece of information we can all use and use when we're watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta or any other Housewives Bravo cast that you care to partake of. Okay? But that's all I got, y'all. Y'all be blessed and I'll see y'all next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, 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 share and like the videos, okay?